hello to your heart and welcome to this breath. So this is called the retrieval breath. The retrieval breath um, works on a paradox here, but it's super interesting. So paradoxically, when we see something that we want that someone else have, we tend to move into the frequency of jealousy or envy that someone has something that I don't. Now, whether that is happiness or love or success or a nice car or a big mansion, um, when you witness that, instead of trying to breathe that in from them into you um, or taking that from them for yourself, breathe life into it. So exhale into it. The exhale is the expansion, it's the awakening, it's the surrender. Breathe life into that energy with the intention of giving it to yourself from the light of awareness, from the creator of all that is, which is you. You're the co-creator of this life. So awakening that energy within your Merkaba or within your energy field from your light of awareness. Your breath carries your fingerprint and your feelings are your faith. The way that you feel is an indication of the beliefs that you have about yourself, what you are capable of, and that's going to influence your experience. So in a way, you have a physical confirmation and you are utilizing that in your own field from your own awareness and from your own operant power. Your feelings is your faith about the belief you have about yourself. Now, first, you have to be aware of awareness and then breathing life into that energy and embodying that frequency within your physical vessel. Okay, super important. Now with this breath, I am accepting more of this energy within my own life from the creator of all that is. Because if you put anything between you and this creator of all that is, which is you, example, another person, you're cut off from that energy and you can no longer receive that. So do, don't think that you have to accept this from another person. Don't prioritize another person. Trust that this energy can be ignited in your energy field from yourself. So you're going out and you're coming back, you're giving it to yourself, retrieving, receiving. So if you're a visual person, you can also Imagine that there is a beam of light going out of the head into the nucleus of the multiverse. And every single time you inhale, that same frequency and essence pours down this channel through your body. And when you exhale, you exhale that frequency into your electromagnetic field and you share that energy and that frequency with that person and with whatever energy you have seen in front of you that you want. This should not suggest that you get this frequency outside of yourself though. As above, so below. Okay? Um, you are merely tapping into the formless, the faceless, the pure potential, and you are confirming to yourself that you are not just a body stuck in time and space. So you are... Um, if we think about the binary code of ones and zeros, right? The matrix of life, the binary code, the one is form, one is masculine, zero is the formless, the yin, um, the, the feminine. You have to turn inward, become awake as awareness. And from that within, you become nothing and everything, pure potential. And then you channel that down. And you embody that. So you ask as aware, well, you ask, you open up as the field of awareness, and then you ground it down. Then you give it to yourself. And in that way, you're not segregating and separating yourself as the true, as the illusion that it is, but you're giving yourself what you need. You're claiming back your upper and power. And from that, you get to share that with others too. So that's the paradox. We don't take from another what we want. We take responsibility and we give that to ourselves from a conscious choice. But the conscious choice cannot be there if we do not wake up as awareness. 
So I hope this retrieval breath was insightful. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Um, super, it's a super fun breath. So thank you so much. And until the next video, like, share, comment, um, do whatever your heart desires here. I thank you. Namaste, dear one.